Hello viewers, have a good day. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to prepare watershed delineation and how to do catchment area of a river using dam image. So, this is my dam image and at first I want to see the projection system of, your, of my dam image. So, if I click on this source, I can see the coordinate system and it has the UTM zone 45 nodes. So this is a projected coordinate system. One thing one thing you should remember that when you try to do the watershed management, your dam image should have the projected coordinate system. If you don't have the projected coordinate system, then you just go raster, then go, go projection, then go warp reprojection and input layer and target CRS that means click here and select your project, uh, projected zone that means UTN zone okay so this is the process okay so after getting your reproject dem you can go your further work so after uh, the next step is the fill okay so next step is the fill just right here within this processing toolbox you can find here this processing toolbox okay it will come under the saga toolbox fill sing wang and loop okay then your dem should be in the, within this file then uncheck the flow direction and watershed vision because i record only here fill dem so click here so i want to give the name uh fill dem okay fill dem then click on save then click on run close it close the second step is the staller stream order because from this dam will perform the staller stream order and on the basis of staller stream order will do the watershed of a particular river system so click here save to file so right here staller stream okay stellar stream click on save click on run close it you can see here if you zoom it you can see the major river okay major as well as the minor stream but you can see here the total stream order is one to nine so if i want to reduce the stream order you can go here that is raster raster calculator select this stellar stream and select more than equal to four because up to four level up to four stream order i actually want to capture okay then click here output layer right stellar fourth order okay save okay now i if i uncheck all of this thing i can see stellar stream order zoom to layer so only up to fourth order stream actually showing here okay up to fourth order if i go here click on this properties if i go to symbology then uh, okay then click here classify if i change the color of this river then click on okay then go below apply and okay if i zoom it now you can see the river okay this all are the stream the second the next step is the channel analysis okay simply write here channel we can see here channel network and drainage basin okay channel network and drainage basin so elevation should be fill them okay not them fill them then threshold should be four because in my previous stream installer i select fourth order so from uh, the similarity I want to go with that similarity. So here I select the four threshold. I want to mention one thing that the lower the threshold means the higher the uh, stream order. That means all minor stream you can capture, and the higher value represent you just only want to take the major stream. Major stream. So according to your need, you can reduce and increase the threshold value then i don't require flow direction flow connectivity stellar order 
here I just I I have required only channel so click here zoom to layer so frame channel this is the output layer name okay then click on run so here I will get the channel in a raster sorry in a SSP file format that means vector format and that I will use for my further work because Stella stream order provide the raster stream okay but okay process complete then go uncheck all of this thing okay you can also uncheck this and if I click here I want to change color take blue apply and okay now you can see all the stream in a ssp file or you can say vector file format now i want to select the stream and which stream i want to prepare the watershed so here the numerous stream is there but i want to select this stream i want to prepare the the watershed for this stream okay so according to your required stream you can select your study area or i can select this one also this is also very beautiful required okay so you can go below and you can see this river actually merge with this river at this point so i want to select here so click at the stellar four order so this is the river cell so before going to prepare the watershed of this river i should prepare a outlet point on this river on the basis of outlet point the system will ident identify that on which river i want to do watershed so for that go to layer then create layer new shape file so three, click on three dot and write out let point okay click on save then geometry type point and projection system should be projected utm zone 45 north okay then click on okay now click on here go to toggle editing so toggle editing toolbox is already activated then go to here at point and click on your the desired stream because i want to yes i want to prepare the watershed for this river okay for this river okay so zoom it zoom it and i want to take here okay then assign a id one okay now go to open attribute channel and here you can see here the open field calculator click here so output I, and here i actually try to find out the x and y coordinate of this x and y coordinate of this outlet point okay so for that click here this open field calculator then write output as a x x x coordinate then click on decimal then go geometry and search x dollar then click on ok similarly again click here write y dollar sorry y coordinate select the decimal number then click on geometry select y dollar click on ok then click on save so save this x and y coordinator then close it now the next step is the up slope okay because i want to do the watershed of this particular river on the basis of up slope tool okay so you can see here absolute from the terrain analysis double click here so from this first is target area optional so don't require 
second is target x coordinate and target y coordinate so this two target of this point is required for the delineation of watershed so i have this to x as well as the y coordinate so click here copy to cell content okay then paste here okay similarly copy y coordinate and paste here then elevation elevation should be elevation should be fill them okay Elevation should be fill them. Then just go method and select this first one and click on run. Okay, close it. So this is a raster image. So at first I require conversion of raster image to vector image. So for that go to raster and the miscellaneous the conversion you can see here polygonized raster to vector. Click here. So out input layer is the up slope and everything will be same assign the output area so this is the up slope watershed okay up slope watershed click on save click on run so now if i select the select tool then you can see here i can select the watershed area now go to open attribute to table and if i select this one okay then you can see this one number actually showing the my watershed delineation boundary and to the other part so you just select this one and click on this delete selected feature okay now you click here zoom to layer if i if i uncheck the stellar outlet up slope now you can see here this is my watershed only okay if i double click here click here simple fill if i go transparent fill and if i increase the stroke width then i can see the boundary line of my watershed now i what i can do click here take it and click on so now you can see each and every stream actually showing here but i record only the stream which is falls under within this watershed so for that i require the toolbox that is the clipping toolbox okay simply right here clip so there is a number of variation but you just select the polygon clipping because here i clip the polygon area okay so simply click here polygon clipping so clip feature is up slope watershed and output feature is the stream channel okay then click here save to file and this is the watershed then click on save click on run uncheck the channel now click here river select on this if you want to change your River color, then you can change it. I want to go with this. With this, apply and okay. So this is the watershed delineation. Now I want to give the dam here. So thank you for watching my channel so this is the tutorial so this is the simple step by this you can do the watershed delineation of your study area so thank you for watching my tutorial and keep subscribe my channel for more video and more update thank you thank you again okay.